Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are doing compound angles, but instead of expanding, which we had done in our previous video, we are now contracting. When we were expanding, we moved from the brackets to the expansion. But when we are contracting, what we're going to do is we're going to take this expansion and get to a bracket. Let's take the following example. We have sin cos cos sin. So the rule that works with sin cos cos sin is the sin rule. Our center sign is plus, which means I am using sin alpha plus beta. But when we are using these rules, we need to check that the angles are the same. So the first angle is 10. That means the first angle in the second term must also be 10. The second angle is 20 which means the second angle in the second term must also be 20. When the angles are the same, then only can I join. So this would become sin 10 plus 20, which gives me sin 30, which is a special angle, 1 over 2. Now when you are using this formula, you will notice that the questions they give you are not always so simple. The angles don't always coincide. Let's take the following example. You will notice that the first angle in the first term is 89, but the first angle in the second term is 91. Then we've got 301 as a second angle and we've got 59 as a second angle. When we have this kind of angles that are not coinciding. We have to do reduction. So you have to be familiar with all your grade 11 reduction. Now we know when we're doing reduction, anything in the first quadrant we don't fiddle with, which means cos 89 I'm not going to change. But cos 301, cos 301 is in the fourth quadrant. I got 360 minus 59 plus sin 91 is in the second quadrant. Remember when you're doing reduction you always choose your 180 rule over your 90 rule. And then sin 59 we're not going to change because it is in the first quadrant. Now reduction. Okay so we have cos 89 Cos 360 minus 59 is in the fourth quadrant. Cos is positive in the fourth quadrant, so I have cos 59. Plus, sin 180 minus 89 is in the second quadrant, so it's positive sin 89 times sin 59. Now when we look at the angles, we can see that the angles are the same. Now we can join. We have a cos cos plus a sin sin. So cos cos plus sin sin is cos alpha minus beta. So we know it's cos alpha minus beta which will give us cos 89 minus 59. Once we simplify that, we got cos of 30 degrees, which is root of 3 over 2. Again, a special angle. Thank you for watching.